where she looks. Give you a girl. Give you a boy. Ah, raccoon. One of my favorite animals on the planet, Procyon Lotor. This looks like a young one. I'm going to set it up here. Raccoons are actually members of the bear family there. And if you've ever played with one, you realize they're like a little bear. They're real playful. They're omnivores. They eat everything. And their numbers are actually increasing in many parts of the U.S. They have adapted to uh, urban environments quite well. Hmm. Increasing their numbers. This one looks... This is an adult. The epithesis are fused. So we've got an adult animal here. Maybe we'll find some forensics on this gal. I'm not... Uh, and I think it is a girl. I do not see a baculum. Raccoons do have a baculum or penis bone. But this one is absent. One, so we have a female. Look at all these long bones. Fibula, smallest bone in the lower leg. Ulna, that's the elbow right there. Let's see what else. That's the radius. Uh, wrist, part of the wrist. Mandibles, coccyx, tailbone. I'm gonna, we'll lay that tail out this way. Thoracic vertebra. You can always spot the thoracics really easily. That's the atlas. Whoa, oh, there you are. I knew it was in there somewhere. There's the axis. Axis atlas. Okay, vertebra. Oh. I don't see any forensics again. This is driving me crazy. Every time I do this, I find forensics. Now, every time I do it in front of the camera, I don't find any forensics. Go. There's some forensics. Image on that. See how it's rough like that? Let me get a regular one. Wait a minute. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Something like that. Nice and smooth and perfect. See how rough this is? This was fractured. Damaged. Just one foot. Get a foot injury. Could have been from anything. Could have been from a trap. Could have been from uh, just life activities. But that is a foot that got broken and then healed. A little bit of forensics on there. Let's see if we find any. Oh, here's a good one. Whoa! Same foot. Look at that. Wow. Ouch. That hurts. So we have a pretty serious foot injury on this animal. Probably handicapped her a little bit in life. Same foot, I'll bet you. If we put this together, you'd see that it was all on one foot. But remember, this is a very young animal. This animal is probably a year old, maybe. Now, this she got a really bad injury at one point in her life. Ow. Oh. Foot, we saw that. And now I'm get, picking out these tail pieces, and look at that. Her tail. See that little burr on there? She broke her tail, too. So probably the same... same uh, event. But, um, yeah, she broke her tail. Look at that one, too. Just about done with it. This is a super nice complete little tip. Okay, patella, we're doing foot bones. If you ever assemble one of these skeletons of a, a mammal, you'll discover that the foot, the feet will drive you crazy. The feet are the hard part. There's so many little so little bones. It's really tricky to get it in really good shape for the specimen. And then if you do a, you do a mammal, you get really frustrated with the foot bones. But then when you do a bird, you go, oh wow, this is easy because all the foot bones are fused. A lot of them are fused into one bone. So it's a lot easier to put a bird skeleton together than it is a mammal. Uh, Okay, we're going to do the teeth real quick. I've got a whole bunch of loose teeth here. Drop in every little area. That's pretty nice. Nice specimen. It's, it's a young specimen. It's got some good forensics. Let me find the claws real quick here. The sternum is the softer bone. It's almost a cartilage that uh, holds the ribs together on the claws. Full count. Okay, no problem. Okay, this is the hyoid. 
You see that little guy? That's the bone in the throat. That's what gets broken if you get strangled. I remember when we worked at the archaeological site, we found a lot of skeletal material. And almost all of them had the hyoid broken. Even children had the hyoid bone broken. So they had a lot of trauma on the old Pueblo. A lot of strangulation going on. Okay, this guy is pretty much done. I'm going to write him up. We've got some really cool forensics. We've got the broken foot. At least one foot is broken. I haven't laid it out, but they're really fractured. It's a good example. And we have a fractured tail. Fractured and healed. Right here's a good bone spur. You can see where that healed funny. Could have been the same event. They look about they look like they've got about the same amount of repair. Raccoon. It is a female. No baculum. And that is pro cyan lotor. It's an adult. Epithesis fused. Just barely an adult, though. It's a very small specimen. Old injuries. Ohio. 2012. This one was collected. And we're ready to go.